For the past several weeks, we've been studying the names and titles of the children of God in the same order they're found in my book titled, Who Am I? This week, we're on a title that I really hold dear to my heart. God's spoken to me profoundly from this revelation. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 7, it says, Those who are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Whether you're Jew or Gentile matters little. If you walk in the faith that Abraham walked in, then you can look to him as a spiritual father and you become one of his offspring because that same faith is reflected in you. Now there's a lot of remarkable things that Abraham believed God for, but I think the most marked incident was well, the very beginning of his encounter with God when God encouraged him to believe that he could, in a sense, resurrect Sarah's dead womb and Abraham's dead impotent body uh, and bring forth in them the ability to parent a child. So he believed that God was life and that God could conquer what appeared to be death. And God counted it to him for righteousness. Again, about 13 years later, after Isaac was born, God spoke to Abraham's heart to offer him up as a sacrifice, but he knew that God had said in Isaac his seed would be called. And so he knew that even if Isaac was sacrificed, God would raise him from the dead. Once again, God counted it to him for righteousness. Every time he believed that God could conquer death with life, it came to him into his account, so to speak, in the form of a righteous status in the sight of God. You and I have done the same thing. See, we came to God with a dead soul. We were dead in trespasses and sins, but we believed that God could quicken us or resurrect us back to life with the Lord Jesus Christ. And through that process, we also received a status of righteousness. We became the righteousness of God in Christ. We also gaze into the future and see that glorious day when the Lord Jesus Christ will come back again and the dead in Christ will rise first. We which are alive and remain will be caught up together to meet the Lord as well. And so that faith in the resurrection to come also obtains for us a status of righteousness in the sight of God. As it was with Abraham, so it is with you.